Hello and welcome back to the shop. I'm Dave, this is Grand House Performance Engineering, and in today's episode, we're actually taking a step away from my Datsun 2DZ project car so that we can go ahead and focus on working on my wife's 2009 Suzuki SX4 Paprika. Stay tuned. Quick introduction to the car. It's a 2009 Suzuki SX4 dubbed Paprika that my wife has an irrational and uncomfortable love for. She bought this brand new in 2009 and it's been her daily driver up until about a year ago and it's a bit rough. All of the Vermont winters started catching up with Paprika and things just, you know, they weren't as reliable as Suzuki may have intended when they built this car in 2009. So I was getting the car ready for sale and my wife comes out, she said, what are you doing? I was like, well, you know, we bought a Subaru now. Uh, we don't need this anymore. It's time for Paprika to go. My wife is, is not an emotional person. She, she does not cry. She does, she, she does not show emotion, right? And every time we started talking about getting rid of Paprika, um, somebody would have little episodes <laughs> that resulted in us not selling paprika. So if the car was gonna stick around, we said, hey, you know, if we're gonna keep the car, we have to do something fun with it. And my wife really wanted to get into racing and performance driving and doing something a little bit different. So I'm telling the story of paprika to a friend of mine and he says, hey, you should actually look up the Ohio Valley Region SCCA Rallycross Group. They run, you know, all sorts of different rally events throughout the year. It'd probably be a lot of fun for you guys. All right, so kind of my plan for this is I wanted to get rid of this giant muffler in the back here. So I'm gonna have to take these clips off here. I'll see if I can get this clamp apart, but it's pretty rusted. Uh, up here, um, all this is gonna come out. Uh, this is gonna come out. Um, for the class that we run in, we have to leave the stock cats in the stock location. Um, so this is the rear cat, this does count. So my plan is on this weld seam, right after that is gonna be where I'm gonna make my first cut because I think the, the actual weld seam here is about the only piece of this exhaust system <laughs> that's gonna be able to be welded to because the only thing that has some material thickness and it's not rusted. Fast forward about a year and we've been competing regularly with OVR, actually managing to get a few trophies along the way. Rallycross isn't easy on cars and we've had to replace quite a bit on Paprika, but it's been a good, cheap excuse to have some fun on the weekends. Building the exhaust for Paprika will help me get some experience before tackling the system on the Datsun. This is my first real attempt at building an exhaust and I'd rather be making mistakes on Paprika than the Z. One thing I thought would be helpful to point out, um, these specialty exhaust pliers are designed to be able to actually help remove the rubbers here. Th these can be really pain uh, to remove. So basically this plier sneaks in behind it and then you just squeeze here and it'll pull the rubber off. And that way you don't have to deal with fighting it and those can sometimes really be a pain. So I'll include a link in the description of this guy. Sanding the pipe at a slight angle, I can get a little bit of extra clearance from the fuel tank without needing to add any bends before the rear section of the exhaust. Over a five foot section of pipe, a small angle change at the catalytic converter has a really big effect on the back end. I've disconnected the battery prior to welding and I'm placing my ground clamp as close as possible to where I'm welding to help prevent any damage to electronics. I'm using 
Using hose clamps to temporarily hold small sections of tubing together. This helps me visualize what the system will look like without having to tack weld anything into place and quickly make adjustments or change out sections of pipe until I'm happy with the result. Since this car races off-road, my biggest concern is keeping as much ground clearance as I can and clearance from the suspension and axles. If you're new to the channel, I wanted to welcome you and encourage you to check out my Datsun 280Z build series. It's worth checking out after seeing my wife's reaction to straight piping paprika at the end of this video. With each of the joints tack welded into place, I'm removing the exhaust so I can finish weld everything on the workbench. Being comfortable is extremely important when it comes to welding, and there's no reason to fully weld them on the car if it can be avoided. Since the weld seam on the catalytic converter is significantly thicker than the piping, I preheated the converter side to help the joint from blowing out on the tube. I'm honestly blown away I was able to disassemble and reuse the factory exhaust flanges to remove and install the exhaust. With the exhaust fully welded, the last step before firing up paprika is to install some exhaust hangers to keep the exhaust supported. I'm using some solid rod which I'll also have to preheat before trying to bend and then weld to the exhaust piping. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos about Paprika or what you'd want to see more of on the channel. I've got a lot of videos planned for the Datsun coming and a backlog of filming I'm really excited to share with you guys. Alrighty, uh, moment of truth time. Let's hear what it sounds like. Let's try to get some, let's see. <laughs> Hit the gas. Neighbors. <laughs>